Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me in a place called Gugan Barra and it's an absolutely stunning place for photography. What you have here is St. Finbar's Oratory and it is a church that people use nowadays for weddings and such like that but what it also is is the source of the River Lee. And the River Lee is a river that runs right through my home city which is Cork and I'm here at sunset. Now I planned to come here for a sunrise but the beauty of the van is that I can arrive the night before so I said I get down early. Today is the 21st of June so it's the longest um, day of the year, shortest night. So I said okay I'll come down a bit early anyway and I'll see what the conditions are like and as you can see it is absolutely stunning. It's flat calm. Now we're after a large rainstorm as well with thunderstorms for the last couple of days and generally what comes after a storm is light and as I can see here there's some beautiful clouds that are above and they seem to be catching the light so hopefully I'll be lucky and that will catch and I'll have a bit of a bonus uh, to this photography shoot. Now my first composition I set up here is kind of a traditional one. I won't be creating any new compositions from this trip anyway but there's a boat that's tethered here right next to me under what I'm stood on and I'm taking that with the um, position that it is leading out towards the church. Now it's tied up but it's also right butting up against this jetty so I found that I have to have a bit of artistic license and push it back out slightly so that it can fit into the frame. Now at the moment I'm at, fifth, at 14 mil and that's not even wide enough. I dropped the camera down as well. I might have to drop it down a bit further but I'm just a bit conscious that it might take over the frame. But for that now this is the first shot. Bit of a test shot really. Um, the sky is looking fantastic like I said so hopefully that will catch the light and we'll end up with some nice shots from this evening. So I'll show you the first one anyway here which is a test one and come along back up this way we'll get a shot and then further down that way as well there's another shot that I can get but yeah fingers crossed the light kicks in and I get a bonus from my outing. composition and that's going to be a pretty straightforward composition because I've come onto this bit of a jetty here uh, there's nothing in front of me and all I'm doing is looking for reflections. Now this is a sunrise location like I would have said and for good reason because the sun is setting behind the mountains behind me here so that gives me a lot to be able to deal with in relation to dynamic range. I've got a very very bright sky and then I also have a dark area here so if I try and expose for the darkness the sky is going to be blown out. If I try and expose for the sky the foreground is going to be dark. So yeah I'm going to have to bracket uh, a shot here but nonetheless I still think it will be nice. There's a bit of colour starting to appear there in the sky so let's see uh, how we get on in relation to that. I'm shooting at f8 uh, one tenth of a second and you know my histogram is telling me I'm well underexposed but that's because I'm taking a shot for the sky and then if I want to take a shot for the foreground I'm looking at a quarter of a second. So that's the difference that I have currently. Hopefully you know if I get a bit of colour in that sky it should even itself up and allow me to be able to get the shot. I mean right now as you can see the water is absolutely like glass with the exception of the odd fish that jumps and gives me a ripple. But yeah I'll show you the shot now. I'm gonna wait and see but yeah here's the second shot and we'll continue to either wait or find a new composition.
I've decided now to come back down towards this boat because there's a nice bit of colour actually coming into the sky and we are 15 minutes away until sunset. So sunset today is at the ungodly time of 10 p.m. So it's quarter to 10 now. There's a bit of colour here so I want to be able to grab this shot. I'll probably have to do my finagling again with the boat and just push it back out a bit because it won't be all in the frame. But yeah, I still think this is going to be a nice shot. It'll be easier as well to expose now once the sun gets lower and I'm not dealing with that harshness. But yeah, I'm going to grab this shot now before this colour disappears. Come further back down now again just to purely go for reflections and the place that I'd normally go to I can't go because there's a bit of algae in the water so it's actually killing the reflections so come to an area here which I think is okay gonna grab that shot because there's a bank of clouds that's above me moving this direction and if it comes in time it'll catch that light and hopefully it will light up and um, this is actually a good opportunity to explain why you shouldn't use your polarizer when you're in situations like this because the polarizer will take away the glare, it will also take away the reflection and what I'm in about here is all about the reflection. So when you've got flat water and you want a reflection you don't use your polarizer. So this shot now again is an interesting one, just very simplistic, a bit closer to the um, to the church than I was in the one further on but nonetheless still I think a nice photograph and also we are six minutes now until sunset this is probably going to be the best of the color but yeah let's see anyway how i get on with this one i might go further on down here and see if i can get something else and uh, there's some reeds that i might be able to use as well but yeah for now i'll get this shot i'll give you a look at it and then we'll continue on further As I've come further on down here now, you can kind of hopefully see in that camera here, I'm starting to juice reflections of the trees. You can just make out on the right hand side of your frame as well, the algae that's kind of killing that reflection also. And by having it here with an open area, I'm able to get the trees that are on the left hand side, the church as well on the right hand side, and then a bit of the reflection. I have to go in actually to 28 mil because I'm right next to the bank here. I might, after this one, just continue further on up a bit and come more square on to the church because at the moment I'm at an angle, so it's getting the road. But if I continue up here, probably around maybe another 20 feet or so, I'll end up then with um, just a straight on image. So yeah, give you a look at this now. We are one minute to uh, sunset, so I think I've had the best of what my light is going to be, but nonetheless, I'll grab that last shot in the air when we continue on up here. Maybe way back up now to the final part actually that I'm going to be for the evening. The uh, light now has gone so I got the best of the colour earlier on. It's still a bit bright actually within the sky and this is also quite dark. You probably won't be able to see that on that camera but um, for the final shot like I said I'm more 
square on. So I've got the trees that are left on the left hand side, they're reflecting nicely in the water. And then just off to the right hand side of the frame, I can't really avoid it, is the algae that's there. And then obviously with the church as being the main subject. So yeah, this is my final photograph from today. Really, really great actually. I think I got some nice shots. Thank you very much for joining. If you want to watch another video, I'd recommend this one here. And if you want to subscribe, you can hit the subscribe button there. And until the next time, schlange voll.